What's going on, how y'all you do? And this is this series where I dive deep into the stats of certain weapons, show you guys some best class setups and all that. And today I want to show you guys a very underrated weapon in Warzone, the FFAR. Now, is it really underrated? I mean, yes, because not many people are using it, surprisingly, but I definitely think that a lot of people will be using it very soon because it's now entering the meta. And the reason for this is not necessarily because, I mean, it's an insane weapon and it's going to dominate, but the reason for this is because... The DMR got nerfed, which means that sniping is now viable, which means you can use a car 98, and the FFAR is a perfect weapon to combine it with a sniper because very good close range, pretty good medium range. It does have some tricky recoil, though, so for some players it's going to be tough, but it's a very, very good weapon. Not many people are using it, surprisingly. I definitely think that uh, from now on, I think we'll see more players using it because it's a very, very good weapon, one of the fastest killing weapons in the game. So I'm going to show you guys some stats now. And uh, the website that I'm using here for the stats is called TrueGameData.com. I'm sure many of you guys have heard of it. An amazing website. You can see what every single attachment does for every single gun in the game. And I linked the website in the description below as well as the creator of the website's YouTube channel. Definitely go check him out. Great guy. Great information. So uh, there's different uh, games here. But uh, that's irrelevant for this video. I'm going to choose the FFAR. We're going to compare it with a few other weapons too, but I just first I want to show you guys the FFAR and how good it is. So fire rate has a fire rate of 900 RPM, which is really quick for an assault rifle. I think it might be the fastest shooting AR in the game, including, well, like all of Warzone, including um, Cold War and Warzone. I think the M13 or RAM are like 800, high 890s. Not exactly sure though, but uh, it's definitely up there. And uh, chest, it does quite a bit of damage, 33. So when you have that fast of a fire rate with 33 chest damage, 30 stomach, 30 extremities, it makes for a very fast killing weapon. And extremities, 30, that's basically you hitting toes within 36 meters, and you're going to be doing that much damage. So it's pretty damn good. Headshots, 45, but I don't recommend going for headshots because you're just going to miss more shots, especially with the recoil that it has. It can be tricky. And then uh, it has a 36, has a second drop off range, 36 meters, and then it's reduced from 45 to 37 for head, and uh, chest is reduced to 27 from from uh, 33, and then stomach and extremities are reduced to 25 from 30. So um, that's pretty much the base stats for the weapons. There are these stats here, but I mean, we're not uh, uh, stat geeks, but I'll go over them. Aim that sight, 238 milliseconds. It's pretty, I think it's on the faster side of assault rifles. Then you have the movement speed here, 4.69 meters per second and all that. Reload time is pretty slow, actually, 2.48 seconds. Very, very slow. Because uh, colder weapons usually have a slower reload time because um, you have to cock the weapon and all that. So it's not really when the weapon enters the mag. Well, not, not, not really when the mag enters the weapon like in Modern Warfare. So it's quite weird. And then uh, sprint of fire time, 263 milliseconds. But I think is right spot on on the average sprint of fire time for assault rifles. We'll, we'll, we'll go over the attachments later on. And then um, now time for the stats that everyone wants to see. So, uh, 250 health, that's Warzone, 3 plates, and it kills, and we're also taking into account um, the uh, bullet travel, the target, so that, so that includes bullet velocity and all that. So, it kills extremely fast at around 0 0.46, yeah, 0 0.467 seconds, sorry. It's a, yeah, 0 0.406 seconds, 467 milliseconds, which is extremely fast. And it's I think it might be the second fastest killing weapon in the game. So that's why it's amazing floor That's why I love having a floor loot. Uh, yes, it has some tricky recoil, but you can definitely control it. And it dominates close range. Even up to 35 meters, it's going to kill a little slower, including the um, bullet travel. Let's just take that off. So yeah, as you can see, up to 30 7 meters it's going to kill in uh, that many seconds which is pretty damn crazy but uh, it does have some pretty good does have a good damage range actually but because of that trigger recoil definitely don't recommend using it for long range so it's not a close range sorry it's not a long range meta but definitely a close medium range meta paired up with the sniper and then I'm going to add a few other weapons just so you guys can see the comparison between them yeah, so this isn't a weapon comparison video, it's just about the about a specific weapon, but I want to throw in a bit of other weapons. We're not going to do an in-depth comparison, we're just going to do a, a small other um, comparison with the uh, time to kill and all that. And as you can see, the AS Val, I will do an AS Val underrated weapon video in the near future, because look how fast the AS Val kills. It kills in about 60, 60 milliseconds faster than the FFAR. 
So um, the FFAR is is amazing. Um, it's the second fastest killing weapon in the game, I believe. So it's not too far off the AS foul. So uh, just to show you guys the comparison here, it's uh, pretty damn uh, pretty damn good. The FFAR. Let's add the Mac 10. The Mac 10 now, since the gallantry blueprint got nerfed, it's really nothing special. The Mac 10 is still good because it has a fast fire rate, pretty decent time to kill, but it's nothing, you know, too crazy. So, um, as you can see here, and this is including the um, open bolt delay, open bolt delay for the Mac 10s. As you can see, the Mac 10 kills quite a bit slower than the FFAR, about um, 70 milliseconds faster, around there. So uh, it's definitely. Um, you're definitely gonna get outgunned if you're using the Mac 10 and someone's using the FFAR, but the Mac 10 has better mobility, M on side sprint of fire speed, and all that. As you can see, when you put sprint of fire, it becomes uh, it goes a lot uh, lower down there. So um, let's compare it with the Modern Warfare MP5, and then we'll finish it, and I'll show you guys my best class setup. Because I, I think that Modern Warfare MP5 is better. Yes, it kills slower than the Cold War MP5, but it has better mobility, better recoil. It doesn't feel as awkward as the Cold War MP5. And as you can see here, with 250 plates, the FAR kills faster than the MP5. So this, honestly, I believe it's going to be a new meta for a sniper combo. It will beat many other SMGs. Do I think it's going to be a close range meta like a submachine gun and you're going to be running a long range AR? Not really because let's say if we're using sprint to fire speed and um, we can see that the MP5 is much faster than the, than the FFAR because it has better mobility. So close range MP5 is probably going to have it but if you already aim down sight and, you don't, and you're not sprinting you're going to absolutely dominate with the FFAR and that's why I think it's a perfect sniper combo and it's a very underrated weapon. So uh, now I just want to show you guys my best class setup. This is what I would run with a car 98. Now um, I'm running the agent suppressor for extra range as well as bullet velocity. They switched it up. It used to just be a normal suppressor, pretty bad one, but they switched it up to the monolithic. Field agent grip because it reduces your horizontal and your vertical, and it has quite a bit of vertical. You could switch it up to the bruiser, and the bruiser actually, it says melee quickness, but it's wrong on the website. It says that it, it gives you better vertical recoil, but this one gives you both vertical and horizontal. Now the 50 round speed mag does not actually reduce your aim down sight time on the website. That's what it says. So that you definitely want to use this one. I was using usually the 38 when I'm playing solo or duos, and uh, I switched to the 50 because it does not impact your aim down sight one bit. Serpent wrap it actually does, has better aim down sight than like the airborne elastic wrap, and it doesn't penalize your sprint to fire speed as much. I think so. It's just the better grip in general makes your aim down sight a little faster. And then the Raider stock improves your sprint to fire speed because you're using a close range, so you want to try and outgun SMGs, and without this, it's going to be a lot harder. So uh, I definitely think you should be using this one. Yes, your hip fire speed, not hip fire speed, your hip fire accuracy is going to be reduced by like 70%, which is a lot, but um, you know, your sprint to fire speed is going to be better, so I definitely would take that. Now, um, if you're trying to use it a bit more long range, then um, you could like swap out the Raider stock and put in the Reinforced Heavy because it does make your range quite a bit better. But I mean, it's not like we're going to use it at range anyways, really. And uh, since I'm using a close range and it still is an AR, you do want to have some pretty good uh, sprint of fire. So that's why I would use the uh, Raider stock. So all in all, I think it's definitely a top tier weapon. Definitely should be up in the meta. It's great, amazing sniper combo. One of my favorite weapons to use in the game. And my favorite weapon to, sni to uh, one of my favorite weapons to pair up with Car 98 probably will be in the future when I get more accustomed to it and start using it quite a bit more. So um, this was my underrated weapon FFAR video. I hope you guys have learned something. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, any support would be much appreciated. And I'll see you guys in the next one.